Japan may be one of the countries I want to visit the most. It may have to soon to cover the X League and their college football leagues one of these days. This video has been requested numerous times by y'all, and I could not be more excited to talk about it today. This is the story of the X League. This is the story of the best foreign professional football league. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college and spring league football content like this, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me know who your favorite foreign team is or league in the comment section below. So how did football even make its way over to Japan? I talked about this in my video on Japanese college football, but for those who have not seen that video, let's go over the history of how it happened. American football was brought to Japan in the early 1930s by a teacher and missionary from Kentucky named Paul Rush. George Marshall, an athletic teacher at Tokyo-based Diet University and two military attaches at the U.S. Embassy, Alexander George and Merritt Booth. Rush was there to help rebuild Japan after the 1923 earthquake. The four came together to form the first football team at three universities in Tokyo. The first football game was played in 1934, but was not a game matching up two of the three teams. Instead, it was an all-star team taking players from the three university teams who took on the Yokohama Country and Athletic Club consisting of American and Britons living in Japan. The game was played at Jaingu Stadium and attracted a crowd of over 15,000 people. The All-Star team won the game and the sport began to grow in popularity extremely fast. In 1937, an All-Star team from the East took on an All-Star team in the West and they attracted a crowd of over 25,000 people. Rush would leave Japan during World War II but would return to the country in the 1950s to promote the game. American college football teams would travel to play games in Japan throughout the 1970s, with teams like Utah State and BYU making the trip to take on Japanese All-Star team. The Mirage Bowl was played from 1977 to 1993, which saw American colleges play regular season games in Japan. The annual game was moved to the Tokyo Dome in 1988, with Heisman Trophy winner Barry Sanders rushing for 332 yards and four touchdowns for Oklahoma State University that year against Texas Tech thus finishing the season with the NCAA single-season rushing record of 2,628 rushing yards and 39 touchdowns. I also believe he accepted the Heisman Trophy from Japan as well. In 1990, David Lingler, the University of Houston quarterback, threw for 716 passing yards against Arizona State in a 62-45 win. According to the Associated Press, there are 20,000 people who play American football in Japan with 412 teams. Of those 412 teams, 210 play at the college and university level. Professional football began in 1971, was known as the Japan American Football League. It was originally a collaborative effort between club teams and various businesses and manufacturers in the greater Tokyo metropolitan area. To help diversify the state of play, the JAFL eventually allowed unaffiliated club teams from anywhere to join in, adapting a tiered system involving promotion and relegation maintain competitive balance, a practice likely adapted from the proliferation of soccer in the country. The teams that participated in this league were a mix of company-owned teams and club teams. Employees of the company-owned teams would actually play for the teams, which almost makes it feel like a beer league-esque if you want to compare it to baseball in America. The reason for the corporate-sponsored teams is it helped with the country's viewpoint on centering your life around work. Companies first formed teams to raise morale and provide a focus for loyalty in labor-intensive industries. The sports teams would later be used to build brand image as well. In the 1980s, this became such a great source of free advertising that teams brought in foreign professionals to raise their profiles further. In 1974, Panasonic Impulse were created in Osaka, and they are the oldest continuous team that plays in the X1 Super Division A. On the Division B side, the Asai Beer Silver Stars were created in 1970. In the X1 Area League, the Black Eagles, now known as the As One Black Eagles, were founded in 1970 as well. During the 1990s, Japan experienced a recession that saw a lot of corporate sponsors, teams, end their tenures in the football league. Companies were spending hundreds of millions of yen to form their best teams and was just not sustainable. The Nissan Prince Tokyo Skyliners and Asai Beverages were some of the most successful teams due to the money spent together on the team. The root of the problem was, aside from the top sports leagues like sumo wrestling, golf, baseball, and soccer, people just weren't watching and the spending by the large companies for the leagues was just not worth it. 
Multiple sports across the country were not in a great place. Today, there are more club teams than corporate sponsored teams. During the period, the Japan American Football League would rebrand to become known as the X League. The league played two seasons in the year, one in the spring, and a main season during the fall. The league consists of four divisions. Those divisions are the X1 Super, X1 Area, X2, and X3. Like European soccer, promotion and relegation occurs. The 7th and 8th place teams in the X1 Super will play a relegation playoff game against the 1st and 2nd place finishers in the X1 Area League. The same thing goes for the last place teams in the X1 Area who play the X2 Champions to decide who falls to the 8th team in the X1 Area. The same thing also occurs between the X2 and X3 divisions. This makes performance on the field matter more like it does in Europe and leads to some exciting matchups towards the end of the season. Game rules are based on those of the NCAA College Division in the United States, with the exception of length of order, which are 12 minutes instead of 15. Americans are often recruited to play in the X League, with strict rules of four per team. No more than two foreign players per team are allowed on the field of play at a time. Foreign players are signed to a one-year contract, and for a long time, there was not a ton of movement around the league. American players who have gone over to play in the X League have been blown away by the experiences. Joshua Cox, a former Central Michigan player, started his career as a member of the Arizona Cardinals when he was invited to their mini camps and jumped around a few practice squads. He would then go play professional football in Italy in 2018 before jumping over to Japan. He told the Hustle Belt, I was playing in Italy. The Italian season was still going on, but I was on a bye week. I thought it was a joke. Japanese X League reached out to me through Instagram and told me to come out because they were having tryouts. In my head, I was like, there's football in Japan? I wasn't too sure about it, but then they sent me the flight, so I might as well go. Cox would join the Panasonic Impulse where he played the last few years. He talks about how the league has stayed quiet about what goes on, but also said the fans are some of the most passionate he has ever played in front of, and the league has run extremely well. Cox explained, it was really similar to professional leagues back home. I feel like other leagues are more unorganized, but this one was really organized and professional. I like this opportunity a lot more than playing anywhere else, to be honest. Even Devin Gardner spent time playing in Japan, telling the Detroit News in 2020, it's regular football. People think it's some different form, but it's American football and expanding and growing, especially from when I got there. It's probably the third best football in the world behind the NFL in Canada. If they start changing the rules and allow more Americans, it'll pass Canada. For the longest time, players really did not move around, but nowadays they are beginning to move around more and more, with the foreign players being crucial for the success of the league. Salary ranges can vary. For non-affiliated club teams such as the Obic Seagulls, who pay between $33,000 to $74,000 US dollars a year for eight professional contracts, four to Japanese nationals and four to recruits from international players. American imports for the company-owned teams end up being employed by said company to make them eligible to play for the team up until 2018. The championship game for the X League is known as the Rice Bowl. The Rice Bowl began during the 1983 season and it, and it was played every year at the Tokyo Dome drawing over 30,000 fans. That was until last year when it was announced that the college teams would no longer play in the Rice Bowl. The X League teams had won the game 12 years straight, mainly in convincing fashion. That was not always the case though. The college teams went on to win seven of the first eight matchups. Today, the Rice Bowl is played between the top two teams in the X League. For the Rice Bowl, the Japan X Bowl decided the champions. Today, the X1 Super consists of 12 teams. There are eight teams in the X1 area, 19 teams in the X2, and 16 teams in the X3, making up 55 total teams in the X League. The Obex Seagulls have the most X League titles with nine, while the Fuji Two Frontiers are the most recent champions, winning their eighth title. Professional football in Japan has been growing over the years and is gaining more and more attention worldwide. Many players believe if the league allows more foreign players to compete, then the league could surpass football in Canada and could continue to grow its audience. Not only is Japan a country I really want to visit one day, I just want to now attend an X-League game at all four levels to compare and contrast the play. What do you think? Who is your favorite foreign football team? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos. YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.